Okay. What's up, guys? Yeah, go. Yeah, what's up? You go? You no, go. I was. Yeah, okay. All right. I'll go. <laughs> what day? What day are we watching today? Hey guys, uh, West Matt, and today we are watching the very last Max Out Friday on the Realization Cycle. So uh, this was it. This is what we did the six week cycle to prepare for. We this is the last the one. Cool. Yep, and this is it. So brought to you by Thunderbolt, Caffeine and Kilos, as always, and Ghost Rider, and Ghost Rider. Click the link below to uh, sign up for the Coffee Monthly Club. All right. Coffee of the Month Club. <laughs> Fire. Danny's going to be so upset. Coffee of the Month Club. Click the link below to figure it out. I'm, I'm not, I wasn't even hired and now I'm already fired. It's the only way to get this coffee. If, if you don't subscribe, you're not going to get it. And then, again, me and Matt will be the only ones that can enjoy it. It so, is um, delicious and it is guaranteed for a hey, PR. Today we're drinking Ghost Rider. Yeah, Did you know that? I didn't know that. It just yeah, tastes good. Today's Ghost Rider. So. Alright, well, shall we get into it here? I guess so. Hey. Alright, so cue us up. Where are we starting out? This is Snatch. Yes. Yeah, and snatch. boom, we're in. Yeah. Alright. It's Friday. We're snatching. We've got our tight clothes on because it's uh, heavy and we're trying to get ready for meat. So you see, uh, that's me in the all black and then Chevy's in the all red in case you couldn't tell. <laughs> in case you were confused. Yeah, so. Cool. Do you guys always max out in the singlet? No, Is that always. Like tradition uh, or just as it gets closer? Yeah, on the realization cycle, I like to get, get mine out uh, every week just to be in one. They're kind of weird. They're not the most comfortable thing in the whole world to wear, so it it's good to get them on and train them a little bit. Yeah, you gotta feel what it's gonna feel like, otherwise you don't know how to make adjustments. Do you lift always in the single that you plan on lifting in at the meet, or does that not come till the day of the meet? No, we, uh, so I have all the, the Nike singlets that we'd be wearing, I just felt like my virus went a lot better, to be honest, so I, I train in my virus singlet. Um, more than the Nike one. Shout out to the virus singer. Yeah, it's, it's good compression gear, honestly. But uh, yeah, that's my that's my favorite singlet. It's it's probably the it's the only one I've worn since I moved to Cal Strength. Uh, when I got to choose, you know. Yeah. For the, for the team trips, I wear the team jersey. But yeah, the virus ones prefer. Good deal. How many how many times do you guys usually take at the bar here? <laughs> Uh, in, until we're ready. Until you're ready? <laughs> Undefined amount until the body loosens up or what? Yeah, so, uh, yeah, it's honestly, it's just a feel thing. Like, some days we'll take a, a bunch of them, and uh, sometimes it's just one and we're moving. Uh, it's just, it always just depends. Um, but uh, usually I don't, I don't keep those in the videos we make, uh, and I'm, I know you don't either, so. Right, right. You don't, you don't always get to see how many reps on the bar we take, but. Yeah, like, uh, and you see even Rob back there in the background, he's been lifting eight years, still taking empty bars, you empty know. Bar times. Yeah, this is you guys at 50, so it's usually traditional bar 50, 70, 90 for snatch. Yeah, that's kind of what I move through. I'll go bar 70 sometimes, but, you know, if I'm training with anybody, uh, most people will go bar 50 yeah. at the gym, so we'll do that. And bar 70 is like just when I'm feeling real good. Alex Lee takes that jump. Really? Mm-hmm. Four seventy. He's a he's a vet though. Polished vet. Some of the sauciest technique in weightlifting. Yeah, he likes that quick seventy on there. It's good you guys get to see all the uh warm up attempts that go into it. I always joke because people at the gym, you know, we're getting ready to snatch and it. it's like <laughs> They'll move from, you know, the bar to like, you know, 60 kilos or something right away and then all of a sudden, you know, they got 70 on there or something and I'm like, you guys are moving pretty quick yeah. and uh, yeah, I'm no, pretty I mean, sure you're not snatching 170 today. So. Bar, then you put the 45s on, that's pretty easy, so I don't know, you put the 25s on, <laughs> that was pretty hard, so then you put the 10s on and you're done. That's it, maxed out. Three lifts. <laughs> <laughs> You guys in the back. Who we got in the back? Dylan and uh, Jaden again. Yeah. The dynamic duo back there as yeah. well. They're getting that. You'll see. You'll see a few of their lifts uh, as we warm up here too. So, yeah. They had they had pretty pretty good days. Um, I think I think Jaden probably hit a few more lifts than Dylan did. That's this Friday. But thirty right. One thirty right there. Right. Yeah. That's good. This is their second week on realization. Well, Dylan's second week. So. 
still two weeks into a realization cycle you're you're still doing a lot of work and you're still kind of fixing the technique too so working on some things is yeah uh, Dave's pants are looking good today again. Dave is. He's, yeah, I think he's been dressing up knowing he's, he's going to be seen in more of these videos. <laughs> he's got a little more camera time these days. We like to put on his coaching gear, too. I, I like to see him in front of the camera, you know. The 110 there. Yeah, very it's nice. Good. 110 foot good. Um, Ooh, Chevy. Was that jump from 110 to 130 for No, Chevy I think there? we lost one of, his, uh, okay. one of his movements there. All right, so normally they'd have been in between. Yeah, uh, still at 135. He, yeah, he's looking good too. Smacked it. Yeah. He did very, he had a, he had a pretty good Friday. Young Jaden again. Mm. Jaden is a pilot. Did you know Jaden's a pilot? I didn't until the other day when I saw it on a Chevy story that I saw it. That's, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, Shout out to Jaden the pilot. <laughs> <laughs> That's dope. That's what he does in his uh, spare time. He's flying planes, getting his hours, but he got his instruments rating, I think was that it's called, something like that, yeah. recently, so now he's he's pretty legit. Oh, man. Chevy 140, plus some little clips. Those weigh a couple ounces at least, so. <laughs> 140.2, that was a good lift by yeah, him he there. Just smashed that. He looks freaking huge in that singlet. It looks <laughs> unreal. <laughs> Shout out to Chevalito, Senior Chevalito, looking yoked. Easy. Oh, that's 140 for me too. Same ones. Yeah. Oh, There's Rob. There comes Rob. Rob oh, march it in. Wow. Authority. It's a regal. It's a wild Rob spotting. <laughs> Chevalito, this is 145 now. Mm-hmm. Cop load. Ooh, that one's so so close. You know, I think I've said this before on here, but uh, I just I really like the way Chevy sets up and goes to the bar. It's so much control, like as he as he gets engaged and and initiates the lift. Like it, it's pretty pretty cool to see him pulling those heavy bars, and he's just like he just eases into it. Yeah, he is. He's he's passionate about it. When he misses, he gets pissed. <laughs> we got here fifty fifty. 40, 50. Yeah. A little, a little warm up, John. I look nice. Nice. Putting it away. 50, they'll sneak up on you. You gotta snatch it, right? Or you'll miss it and then you'll be a really sad way. <laughs> 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 Missing warm ups is not good. No. What do we got here? 60. It's on the next. 40, 50, 60. Nice. Yeah, pretty strong six. Yeah, I was feeling, I was feeling great. You know, the, that week was pretty much staged to set us up to feel pretty good for Friday. So yeah, um, and I and I did. You know, we had a little bit of work, but just a, but it's just it's so much less than what we're used to. So it's fifty for Chevy. He moved up on the forty-five uh, attempt. That's close enough. <laughs> Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, that one looked that one looked better Perfect. than the last one. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, right down the middle. Again, you see how smooth he is off the floor. Mm -hmm. It's very like calm, collected, keeps it close. It's just it, I really I like watching him snatch. Mm hmm That was impressive. Yeah. Here's what we got here down for you. So that was fifty, that's three thirty for a Chevy and again he's a eighty one kilo weight lifter, so it's pretty <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Pretty good. That's a, that's a big snatch. Here's 67. Yeah. Uh, you see, actually, I put, a, yeah, I put a little more uh, on that one than the last one. Sometimes that happens as you work up. Like, you you know, like you, I don't know, you almost bring it more once you get to, like, meaningful lifts, meaningful weights. Right. Get a little more amped up. Yeah. Stronger finish. Stronger yeah. pull. Ooh, that's... That's right there, though. Yeah, he, he needs to stay on his pull a little longer and make sure he he finishes it. That, that's one that he's hit before, but that is his all-time PR. That's the most he's ever done. So that's a that's a good lift. It's a big lift for Chevy. That's awesome. Yeah. What's this here for you? 72. Nice. Yeah. 
So what were you for? 60, 67, 72? 72. All right. Yeah. So I think that was actually when I hit my first American record snatch, I was at that weight. Really? Uh huh. Now what have we got here on the bar? I'm at 73 though. I'm gonna just lie to everybody. 77. Nice. Yeah. Fresh angle too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ang angle switch. Man, that felt so good to do. Honestly, like uh, that's a, I mean, one of my third or fourth biggest snatches I've ever done. D just doing it like on time, on cue, like at the end of the realization cycle. Just it feels really good, you know. Like that you set it up, you expect to hit it, and you go out and do it. So it's yeah, like, they script it. It gets done. It's perfect. Like the. It builds confidence in the lifts too, right? Yeah, it's uh, working up, you know, from bar to 77 on this is like, that's all you have to do with the meet, you know, that's, like, that's every bit of everything I have to do. Right, that's it right there. Yeah. And now you've done it once, you have the confidence in it. Just have to repeat it. Yeah. That 77 is also good for a, uh, the current American record. So when they shuffled the weight classes, they named new... American record standards is what they call them. Mm -hmm. So uh, they named it at 176, okay. which was one kilo over my 105 American record. So I have to beat the 76 Got to it. get the new one. So 77. 77. Is, so unofficially. Yeah. Right well, there. In the gym. In the gym is so much different than on the platform. I, I completely agree. But at the same time, it's all film, bro. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I posted it on Instagram. So right, I, right, right. I mean, case closed. It yeah. was there. Maybe yeah. I'll, I'll get my receipt. For I mean, the I, American <laughs> so just send it to me. Uh, I, but I agree, though. Like you know, putting it together when it counts is really what what you're doing all the work for is to build the confidence in that, right? Is, yeah, the is performance, the counts. whole start to finish performance. Like right. you, know, you warm up. You got three attempts on the platform, and while we're doing this training, that's what you're thinking about. You're like, okay, this I'm in the back room, I'm warming up. These are warm up attempts. These have to go smooth. I have to look good so I can be confident when I step out on the platform. So you're actually visualizing that through this session here, and you're, you're kind of taking it. yourself there yeah, a little bit. You're, you're definitely feeling it. And then, like when your opener's on the bar, like you know, this is your opener. Right. If you miss your opener at the meet, it has big trouble. <laughs> Uh, especially, uh, especially when Dave's your coach. So, um, that's not something you want to do. But uh, yeah, so you think about it. Like you know, this is my opener. Right. I'm going out. I have to crush this. This has to be like, has to be smashed because I still have two more. I have to come back out on the platform two more times, and uh, you know, then after you get your first two attempts out of the way, the rest is just like icing on the cake. Like you got one more shot to like make a good day an excellent day yeah and you know that's what you're thinking about that's how it feels at the meet too like you've got a good day you got two in like let's make it a great day that's it and you know the if i can make it a great day at pan ams we're looking at american records and right you know, I could. essentially right there that's the performance you need yeah that's what i need that's it what are we at here we're at clean and drink now Jeez, the, that went so fast. The bar's getting a little heavy. What is that? It did, I think. 70? I, yeah. Oh, just crushing through. I went 40, 70. So, uh, a clean and jerk moves fast. We went, uh, <laughs> we went 70, uh, 110, 140, 170. Yeah. So, uh, pretty, pretty big jumps in the clean and jerk, but I had a lot of reps on the heavier stuff. So, this is actually, this is a big lift for Chevy. We got 67. Um, all time best is almost 91, so he's he's at a pretty high percent here. Very good, clean. nice, very good, clean. That's about as good as you can do it. It's straight up, he catches a great balance, good composure here. It's so one of his one of his best clean jerks. Yeah, I've got excellent technique, it really good strong. composure. Dave's pleased about it. Yeah. <laughs> No, he looks strong there. The, the Godfather is satisfied. <laughs> the nod of approval. <laughs> so now we've got, what do we got, Matt? 85? Yeah. 185, just over 400 pounds, but it's still something like I should be able to do all the time. It's just a, it's a power clean weight, honestly, so. Yeah, I mean, that looks pretty. It's supposed, supposed to look like a warm-up. 
That one you start to feel it there, about that 85, the weight on the bar a little uh, bit. Yeah, it's a real lift. You gotta really pay attention. You can't like you can't be slacking for sure. Here's Chevy at 77, so now you know he's really up there. This is like a, you know, this is probably around his you know, little open at. He'll open here. Yeah, it might be. Uh, yeah, it might be close to second attempt weight. It's like right in between open or second attempt. Little fight. He's a little off balance. Came up forward in the clean, so he's got to sit there and Just. compose himself. It wears your body out. Oh, it's so close. But you see, like his balance was forward in the clean. Yeah, he knows it there. Like he, he's talking about it. That still though, for him to make a good attempt like that after all that time under the bar, it's improvement for where yeah. he was before. Again, like we we sort of staged this session to be good for us, but we didn't. It's not a full, it's not a meat taper by any means, and we're doing meat numbers, so uh, it's, you know, it's good to be fighting at these weights. As you can see, it's a little forward, though, just it's Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah good adjustment, though. Yeah. Big Still clean. a little forward, though, you're right. As yeah. he comes up, I think, um, and, and that's the struggle, is trying to readjust after that. Well, he did well as he stayed back on the clean, and he he didn't have to fight with that, so that saved him some energy. Uh, here we go, 200, so, again, it's not, not a great clean. That's actually a little sloppy. I, I got behind it, and, like, that squat felt a little heavier than it should have, but... I mean, it still looks so easy, though. I've done, I've done 200 <laughs> enough times now that it... it it, you it know should be it, better than that. Not, it should look that easy, but it should even be better technique. So, yeah. You know, I, I actually, when I sat down, I was a little disappointed that I screwed that up. Because it, it it makes you more tired. Like, you just over right. something, you have to fight with it. Right. And, it, you know, now you've just wasted some energy. It's a big lift for Chevy. 82, 400 pounds. It seemed a little bit of balance there. Yeah, that was a good, good clean there. It's very stable. Yeah, oh yeah I know it's so close oh he just like so close it's just core tension there like if he if he could have found his core just a little quicker held it just a little better he probably puts that away you know no problem but yeah that is that's a big lift for Chevy that's like that's right at his PR I said he's, he's done 191 almost so he just barely missed the jerk behind mm -hmm. When he hit the 191, you know, he That's caught it. That's a big it. lift for him. Yeah, yeah. That's great. Yeah. Oh, here you go. Uh, two, 210. Nice. I could have met it better again. Like, I'm kind of over pulling it, just getting a little too amped and making me have to fight it. Yeah. And this is like... So you'll see later, but that dip and drive, the jerk there, is it's not right, and it comes to bite me in the butt later, but I'm just a little out of position, and the way I'm dipping mm -hmm. just isn't quite right. I have to stay back over my ankle a little bit more to have a better, like a more efficient dip and drive, and to keep the bar where it's supposed to be. And here Chevy's going at it again, 82. I just I love his composure too. Like this is the same way he snatches. Just so smooth. He nice. Just, he knows it's gonna be a fight and he just like strong out of the bottom. He takes though. it head on, dude. It's so cool. It's taking a little too much time. There he is. Oh. <laughs> Even All after right. even after the long fight in the front row, yeah. Even after a miss, oh yeah. There's Anton getting the ammonia in the back. Hope you guys didn't miss that. Right oh. the <laughs> they saw him running off of it. Yeah. yeah. So uh, that's funny. Yeah, we get to celebrate Chevy's make with ammonia in Anton's face. That's great. So uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty. We have we have a good time in Cal Strength. But uh, yeah, I mean that's a big Chevy fights back, makes that lift. Like that's important, and you know. It, it, on a second try, like now he's getting extra volume in at these at these big weights. It's just it's just good training, man. Yeah, you guys are looking good. Two seventeen. Gotta stay back on my clean, you know. I, I said it on, on my post. I was feeling a little off in the clean and jerk today, um, and I don't. Better you know, jerk, it looks there. Yeah, the jerk jerk was good. The jerk was well timed. I, I, there's things I could do better there.
This is the second angle. Yeah, second angle. And you'll see, like... So strong to step there's, there's no reason to step it out. It's too heavy for me to be... Fighting it. Like, yeah, that takes away from the jerk, like you said, right? Yeah, I should... I, I gotta be better than that. You know, that's not how you make the really big stuff. Right. Like, I can, I can fight around 217 and figure out a way to make it, but what's better is just, like, doing it perfect, and then you're not as tired. Like, you can go into the right. next lift, like, feel a little better. You know you crushed it. So, like, I'm happy I made it. Like, that's a big lift, whatever, but I want to do it better. You know, like, it needs to be done better if I want to accomplish what I'm trying to do. So, all right, here's Chevy. still going. 86. Damn. <laughs> Scrappy fighter, boy. You don't... Yeah, there's no quit in it, man. No, so, hell no. Get that clean. Ooh. So composed. I'm just going to sit here. He's going to fight. Oh Try boy! Yeah, he loves to make it hard. He's, right. He grinds, man. He ain't gonna put it down. Oh. Just a little forward. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this this angle's really good to just see where the bar is, and you can see like that bar is just a little forward. When the bar is in front of the body, there's no way you got to right. keep the bar over the shoulder, over the hip. Everything moves straight up and down. Like it's just it has to happen. The jerk's too heavy. To let it let it deviate, you know, yeah. if it gets off your center, it's just not it's not gonna stay up there. You can run out, you know, light jerks all day, but you're not you're not gonna run out your ninety five percent plus. Like it's just it's not gonna happen. It's gotta be it's gotta be close. So you see, like this is one thing that's cool about cow strength. You know, when we're doing big lifts, you've got guys getting ready for meets. The whole team gets involved. Yep. Yeah, yeah. You just saw like, Rob and Nicole loading up the bar, and everybody around. else is switching out. Look at the energy behind. Everybody's in this lift with you. It's two twenty-three. Woo! This is an American record, and would give me a four hundred total for this practice. Bad clean again. Like, so I'm talking about. You gotta have good movement prep. You gotta work better than that. Yeah, and this is the lift that you're talking about when it matters. And it cost me. Yeah. Now you see, like if. If you pay attention there, you'll see the, the hips, they slide forward at the bottom of the dip. It's bad timing, and it's just because, like, I don't have the energy to sit there and feel the bar because of the bad technique. Right, you're chasing it forward in the clean. So, you just, it requires better execution. So, yeah. like, again, it's cool to be cleaning these big ways to be moving like this, but it's way more cool to, like, doing right right <laughs> yeah get it done efficiently so you could even move your maximum you should hit 190 right here he's just going dude this is a pr if he makes this this is technically would be a big pr for him no oh. but he's under it the bar is like it's a yeah. little forward he's like he's getting down there he's racking them again like this is heavy weights we're not we're not tapered like this is competition numbers that we're you know we're not tapered for at we the trained. end of the cycle we trained all week we had a morning session on this day like this is not like something like we we planned to have a big day and we somewhat staged it but by no means did we like pull off the gas like we we hit our training we, we went right through the template and did what we're supposed to do so. yeah so even after all that volume to still come out and be able to uh make these lifts confident in making the adjustments in that clean come game time. So that's 223 second attempt. Yeah, definitely never done this twice in a session. Maybe I did it actually the week before. The clean looked better there. It's better position. It could, there's better ways to do that, but yeah. And oh! What you'll see like, so on that one, like the timing's a little better, the core's a little better. But the hips still tuck under at the bottom of that dip, and I know it. I felt it, like right there. Like I'm not, I'm not disappointed because I missed the lift in the 400 total. It's because, like, I know what you I know what to was do. you know what you needed to do like, to to make the lift. Yeah, and it just wasn't quite there. At least not not that, not day. that day. And the 400 is like that. That's huge. That's that's that. So that that'd be a huge improvement on Absolutely. the American record standard total. Um, which is 392, but uh, I mean, it's just, it's a big benchmark, and I wanted it to be Friday, and it is, <laughs> like, because, I mean, honestly, like, you can attribute it to probably bad movement prep, like, they're just, like, 
I was making some errors in the clean and jerk. I didn't really feel it early just because, like, you've got this nervous energy. Like, you're hyped up. Like, everything feels light. like you're just blowing, like, you're just blowing stuff away. Um, so you don't really feel it. And then as I got to the heavier lifts, I started noticing, well, that jerk was a little off. This clean mm-hmm. felt a little weird. Mm-hmm. And uh, by then, it's too late. Right, because in the two loads. You so just, take time a, on your warm-up sets, <laughs> right? right? Get man. it in right. You, just, you can't go back down like midway through a clean and jerk warm-up and do it again. And make adjustments. There's just not enough legs. Right. Like, you have to do it right. Yeah. So, uh, you know, that's, there's my takeaway, you know. Perfect. Well, there you guys have it. So follow along uh, as we lead up to the to the big meet here. And uh, as below, we put your guys' comments below if you guys want to know some particular things about the uh, training sessions. If you guys want to uh, ask any questions, uh, shoot out there. I'll get them over to uh, Wes for you guys. We'll put them into these uh, videos and into these uh, training vlogs. And in the meantime, head on over to the description below and pick up your Thunderbolt Coffee at the Coffee of the Month Club YouTube channel. <laughs> We're going to have a whole thing. So if you've watched to the end this far, peace. Thank you. See you guys. We appreciate it.